What's up, Brit Squad? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Dominic Gritch, and I'm back to preview the second leg of this season's UEFA Champions League semi final between Ajax and Tottenham. This will be the fourth meeting between these two teams as they met way back in 1981 before most of us were born in the European Cup Winners' Cup. That competition doesn't even exist anymore. Tottenham won the first leg on the road, three goals to one, and won the second leg, three goals to nil, winning the tie, 6-1 on aggregate. But in this season's Champions League semi-final, it seems like Ajax are out to get their revenge for their 1981 battering. Going on to win the first leg played at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, one goal to nil courtesy of a 15 minute goal by Danny van der Beek. But guys, all that is in the past. Let's zero in on the second leg. This is what I wanna focus on. The second leg will be played on May the 8th at the Johan Cruyff Stadium. Eric Ten Hag and his boys know what they need to do. But Maurizio Pochettino may need to do some tweaking to his formation and make some changes to his starting 11, which will in turn signal a more positive approach going into the second leg for Tottenham. If I was Maurizio Pochettino, I would take the same approach taken versus Manchester City when they did go on to win the tie on the away goal rule scoring four goals versus Ajax so far Tottenham has no goals they are missing Harry Kane they were missing Han Ming Son they have to use a different formation than the one they used in the first leg it was just too much of a negative approach in my opinion. If I was Maurizio Pochettino, I would use a 4-1, 2-1-2 formation for this fixture. I would use Han Ming Son in place of Fernando Llorente, who I'm gonna rate a 4 for the first leg. Lucas Moura will hold his place. I'm gonna rate him a 4 as well. He was not that great at all. All. Just behind them, in the number 10 position, I would use Christian Eriksen instead of Deli Ali. Christian Eriksen was one of Tottenham's best players in the first leg. I rate him a 6. Just behind him, I'm going to use Deli Ali, who I'm going to rate a 2 for the first leg. He was just horrible. Musa Sissoko, a 6. He would be alongside Deli Ali. He has been one of Tottenham's bright light this season. Just behind them, I would use Victor Wanyama, who was also good in the first leg. I'm gonna rate him a 6. In the left back position, I'm gonna make a change though. I'm gonna take out Danny Rose, who I'm gonna rate a 5 for the first leg, and play Ben Davies. I think he would offer a bit more in defense than Danny Rose did. And over in the other fullback position, I'm gonna take of Kieran Trippier who I'm gonna give a 4 rating for the first leg and bring in Kyle Walker Peters just for a gamble. He's in the squad, he's young, he's raw, he's fast, give him a chance. At center back I'm gonna go in with Davinson Sanchez who was one of Tottenham's best players. I'm gonna rate him a 7 for the first leg. I'm gonna use him alongside Toby Alderweireld. I don't think that Vertonghen will start this game. He picked up a concussion in the first leg. I rate Alderweireld a 7 in the first leg and Vertonghen a 5. In the goal, Hugo Lloris who I'm gonna give a 7. He was okay. Pulled off a big save. Couldn't stop the goal but still it was a solid performance by Hugo Lloris. So with that 11 of Son, Lucas, Eriksen, Ali, Sissoko, Wanyama, Davies, Kyle Walker-Peters, Alderweireld, Sanchez and Lloris, I think Tottenham can turn things around in their favor if they take the right approach, apply the strategy and go out there and just play positive football versus this very, very talented Ajax team. But this is only my opinion. Pochettino may just go in with one change, that Hunming son for Llorente, and he may stick with Danny Rose and Kieran Trippier. But I'm only suggesting this because I think Tottenham did not take the right approach in the first leg. They have nothing to lose. Play the youngster in fullback, give Davies a chance, and who knows, something special may happen in Amsterdam. I do think that Fernando Llorente is more effective when he is used off the bench. When Tottenham is in a desperate position, he can come off the bench and score goals in set plays. So I think he should be used in this manner. There's also Eric Lamella who could come off the bench and add impetus to the 11. And if Danny Rose, not Kieran Trippier, starts the game, you also have them to come off the bench. So Tottenham are not completely out of this tie as yet. 
deficit. It's only a one goal deficit. All they need to do is score at the Johan Cruyff Stadium and this tie will still be very much alive. For Ajax, Eric Ten Hag used the 4-2-3-1 formation to great effect once again. Ajax have been absolutely phenomenal this season with their home and away record being equally great. This season, their home form in the Champions League are as follows. A draw, a loss, a draw, win, 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 win and win. On the road, they have been even better. Their away form reads as follows. A win, 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 four draws in a row and a win. But in this second leg fixture, Ajax will be at home and in the last three Champions League games, their home form has been rather sketchy. Two draws and a loss. And with the return of Han Ming Sun, I'll make one change to Ajax's 11. I'll go in with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Dusan Tadic, who I'm going to rate a 7 in the first leg. Neresh, an 8 from the first leg. He was absolutely amazing. Ziyech, an 8 as well. Van de Beek, a 9. He was the goal scorer and he deserves a lot more praise than he gets. Frankie de Young, just behind him, who I rate a 7. Lasse Shona, who went off early, a 6. Tagliafico, at left back, who I rated a 7. He had a solid game. Daily Blind and Matisse Delict, an 8 for both of these players because they were really, really good. Kept a clean sheet. But the change I'm going to make is at right back. I'm going to bring back Masrui for Veltman. Masrui came on and was really, really good. But Veltman, I think, lacks the pace of Masrui but he is more defensively sound but I think that Ajax should not sit back they should go forward and try to put this tie to bed by scoring more goals Veltman was good in the first leg handled Danny Rose really really well I'm gonna rate him a 7 for the first leg but I think he should come off the bench. And in goal, of course, Andre Onana, an 8 rating from the first leg. He was really, really good. Made really good decisions and kept a clean sheet. The key battle in this game is going to be Masri versus Hanming Sun. Masri has to start. Veltman would not stand a chance versus Sun in this game. That's my prediction. He will not stand a chance versus Sun if he starts. Ten Hag will make a big mistake if he starts Veltman ahead of Masrui. So guys, now for the sweetest part, my prediction. Who I think will ultimately play in this season's Champions League final to face one of Barcelona or Liverpool. Right now, it looks like Barcelona who defeated Liverpool 3-0 in their first leg tie. So Ajax, Tottenham, who will make it? This is what I think. Tottenham has to score one and don't concede to take the game into extra time or score two and win it outright. But their away form in the UCL has not been impressive. A loss versus Man City, a win versus Dortmund, which is their only Champions League away win this season, a draw, a draw, and a loss. And now they play Ajax. And their form suggests that they may not overturn the one goal deficit. They play Bournemouth away in the EPL and can't afford to lose that game either because they risk missing out on a top four place, which means UCL football next season. Tottenham may need to prioritize here. Play a strong 11 versus Bournemouth, win the game and secure Champions League football and play Ajax on half tank, which may definitely seal their fate. Or rescue players draw or lose the game versus Bournemouth and push to defeat Ajax and go for the Champions League title versus one of Barcelona or Liverpool. But knowing Tottenham, they'll probably try to take a conservative approach, hoping to win both games and end up losing or drawing them both. For Ajax, who are chasing an unprecedented treble, they face Willems 2 in the KNVB Cup final this Sunday and should continue fielding a strong 11 even before a big European game like they have done continuously this season. They should go on to win the cup. Ajax Eredivisie games are also postponed to offer 
the team more rest for the Tottenham fixtures. Ajax should go on to win their remaining two games and win the league title on goal difference over PSV, but that only entitles you to a Champions League qualifying spot. So Ajax will definitely want to brush aside Tottenham, make it to the final versus Barcelona or Liverpool, win the title and secure Champions League football next season. The way Ajax has been playing this season at home and on the road, I don't see Ajax losing this tie after winning the first leg and getting that valuable away goal. I think Ajax are gonna go on to win the tie, but this game, I'm gonna predict a 1-1 draw. Ajax will score first, but Tottenham will score a late goal, bringing the game to an extremely tense finish mark my words mark my words but i don't think that tottenham will overturn this one nil deficit at all it's not happening we are destined to see an ajax versus barcelona final because after that three nil win versus liverpool we are destined to see that johan cruyff final that everyone's been asking for ajax versus Barcelona. I still have to do the Barcelona versus Liverpool prediction video for the second leg. Anything could happen. Liverpool could pull off what they did in Istanbul coming back from three goals and go on to win the tie. But it's, it's quite unlucky with Lionel Messi in that team. Tottenham could also do the unthinkable. Well, it's not so unthinkable, but for me, I, I don't think Tottenham's got it in them. I don't think they're going to turn this thing around, but they can, they can. It's football, the ball is round, they can definitely turn it around with Han Ming Son coming back in the 11. They could do it, they could do it, but I'm not predicting that to happen at all. So that's my thoughts on the second leg fixture of this season's Champions League semi-final tie between Ajax and Tottenham. Guys, I want you to let me know your prediction in the comment section down below. If you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button, slap a like on the video, share it with a friend, and until next time, i like to say thanks for watching and peace out. Rich! Squ <laughs>